Hey guys, it is Jason Michael Hall coming at you today. Hope you're having a wonderful day. So I'll make this quick, quick video because I gotta go figure out what's for dinner. Uh, <laughs> before I, uh, before I uh, do that, I wanted to make this quick video for you. So um, this is the NJ NZD JPY, and here's what uh, here's what I'm looking at. Um, and uh, there's a couple couple of reasons um, that this is a uh, a viable uh, a viable trade option. Um, so the what we're looking at here is here is a banker's candle right here, um, this blue candle, which is actually a, a down candle in uh, sorry an up candle in my uh, in, in my trading view. Um, so this had a big drop right right here, and now it, cr it created this imbalance right right here. You see where this wick is, and it come down to here. So this this most times will want to fill this imbalance. So you're looking for imbalances in. Uh, in here now, same thing in here, right? When you look up back up and you do a little back testing, right? What did this do? It came up and filled this imbalance to the bottom wick of this banker's candle right here. So um, now I'm not saying this is not going to just drop out of the sky. It very well could do that, but we're not going to. Um, if that does that, then we don't. You know, our, our sell limit order, our pending order, that won't trigger. Um, so, so we see imbalance right here, right? So that's that's number one. That's the first reason. Number two. This is in a downtrend, right? So this this should come back up, fill this imbalance to this to this banker's candle, and then drop. Um, that's what we're expecting. So if we put the Fibonacci right on this move, which you go from the top here, right to the bottom, down here. Look where the 71 to 76 zone is, right? So what I do is I do my little drawing tool and I put a little box. Just like this, okay? And then I get rid of my Fibonacci because I don't need that anymore. Remove. So here is the zone, right? Right in that wick area. So what I did, so that's number two. So you have imbalance, right? And then you have, you know, you have this this push down, and then you have the Fibonacci's um, in there to, uh, you know, to also line that up. Um, and then obviously you have the banker's candle. You know, right here, where this wants to come back, to come back up and fill this. So, those are the three reasons. So that's why I, I personally put my sell limit order right here in this area, um, with a stop loss above this wick. You could be a little less or more aggressive and put it above the body. I decided because it's only a, a ten or twelve pip stop to put it above the wick. Um, so, if it comes up and it hits this area, uh, what I'm expecting for it to do is something like this: come up bounce off this area, and then obviously continue that move down. Um, and you saw as well that the take profit, you know, is down with these equal lows down in, uh, down in this area. 69, let's see here real quick. Uh, yeah, 69095, 69095. So, uh, you know, down, down in this zone right here. Uh, you could even, you know, that's where I would have it actually. So anyway, uh, it's a three to one trade and you can actually look at that as well. Let me show you how to do that real quick. Um, so you're doing a short position, right? You start where your air entry is, which would be right there. And then you can shorten this up. Just you can see the, you know, your, your profit reward, risk reward, right? And you drag this down to that zero nine area, and there you go, three to one risk reward ratio. So, all right, the missus is home. Hope you're having a wonderful rest of your day. Hope this video helped to understand a little bit more of what we're looking for and what I'm looking for, and it helped you to uh, realize that. Have a wonderful day and uh, happy pippin'. Thanks. Bye for now.